The first thing we're going to do is to install the version that will allow us to work with .NET MAUI projects or templates. We are going to go to this special Visual Studio site where the preview versions of Visual Studio are hosted. Unfortunately, .NET MAUI is not yet available for use within Visual Studio in its stable version. We have then to download a preview version where the updates that will be released will be hosted until .NET MAUI has a general version. To download this version of Visual Studio, we have to go to the URL visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs slash preview. Anyway, I'm going to leave you this link as part of the links of this lesson. And once we are on the site of the 2022 preview version, and I also want to emphasize that this video will be updated as soon as the official version of Visual Studio is released with the update to be able to develop with .NET MAUI without having to wait for preview versions. So let's click on this button that says download preview. We have different versions that we could use and as in other trainings, we're going to download the community version since it is the free version. Let's click on this option. Let's wait a few seconds while the installer starts downloading. Here we have the installer. I'm going to click on this option that I downloaded. Okay, we click on continue. And this begins the update of the same installer so that it downloads the necessary components to always have the last version of the installer. I also want to emphasize that this version of Windows in which I am doing this training is a completely clean machine. It has nothing installed so you can see the process from scratch. We can see the classic installer that we had previously with the different workloads that we could select to carry out some specific type of development. As part of mobile development with .NET, notice that we currently have the Xamarin option that we had previously, but additionally an option that says .NET MAUI Preview appears here. Let's leave this option selected, let's click on install and start the download process. And if you have never used Visual Studio before, this is the process that follows. Normally it downloads all the files, all the components and installs them as the components are downloaded. So let's take a few minutes to download and install the ID in its preview version. Another point to take into account is that if you want to try the preview version on your machine where you develop, you can normally do it without any problem. It will install an isolated version of Visual Studio Preview that will not affect the operation of your currently installed version, which is the stable version. Then you can do it without any problem. I do it this way because I wanted to demonstrate the installation process of Visual Studio Preview as such and I wanted you to see it. And that's it. After a few seconds, we see that the installation of Visual Studio has been completed successfully, so we are ready to continue.